Hey kids, Dr. Brooks here with an Algebra 1 lesson on radicals. So I put a packet on Schoology for you and we're going to move through that slowly. Today we're going to cover the first two pages and I'm going to use some of those problems as examples for you. So it would be a good idea to either take notes or go ahead and print out the packet and just write your answers right on the packet, your choice. Starting with number one, I'm going to do the odds on the first page for you as examples. You've seen this already before, so hopefully things click and, and you can remember how to do some of these problems. So, number one, the square root of 75. Well, if we break down 75, we know that 25 times 3 is equivalent to 75. 25 is a perfect square. The square root of 25 is 5, so we have 5 square roots of 3. Number three, the square root of 36. Not a lot involved there. It's just six. Number five, I'll look at that a different way for you. We have the square root of 80. Many of you start by saying, okay, that's eight times 10. Well, let's do this as a we're looking for pairs type of problem. Eight is two times two times two. 10 is two times five. And square root means Look for your pairs. Twos, cross it off twice, write it down once. Times, cross it off twice, write it down once. You're left with one five underneath. Multiply what's on the outside. Two times two is four, and you have four square roots of five. Maybe you noticed I didn't make up this worksheet, so number seven and number 11 happen to be the same thing, the square root of eight. Well, we know 8 is 4 times 2, the square root of 4 is 2, and you're left with a 2 underneath. So there you have two answers. 7 and 11 are both 2 square roots of 2. Let's go back up to 9. 9, the square root of 32. Well, 32 is 16 times 2. 16 is your perfect square. The square root of 16 is 4, and you're left with a square root of 2 underneath there. Okay. 13, the square root of 125. Well, 125 is 25 times 5. So the square root of 25 is 5, and you end up with 5 square root of 5. Number 15, the square root of 175. Well, that happens to be the square root of 25 times 7. And I'll just prove that to you um, right here. So let's say 25 times 7, 35, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 25 times 7 is this is equivalent to 175. So we take the square root of 25, we get 5, and we're left with a 7 underneath. So that is 5 square roots of 7. 45, most of you would recognize that as 9 times 5. The square root of 9 is 3, left with a 5 underneath. 3 square roots of 5. And then finally, number 19, the square root of 20. Most of you recognize that as 4 times 5. And the square root of 4 is 2, and you're left with the square root of 5. And those are all of the odds on the first page. So part of your homework for today will be to do the evens on the first page. And I'm going to move to the second page of the packet when we start adding and subtracting radical expressions. So again, the odds. Number one, we have three square roots of six minus four square roots of six. It's easy. Just pretend it's three x minus four x. So what's three minus four? Negative one. So that would be a negative x, but instead of an x, we have a square root of 6, so the answer is negative square root of 6. If you put negative 1 square root of 6, it's the same thing. I won't mark it wrong. Number 3, we have negative 11 square roots of 21 minus 11 square roots of 21. Well, if you had minus 11x minus 11x, you'd have minus 22x. So this is going to be minus 22 square roots of 21. Moving right along. 
Number five, negative 10 square roots is seven, plus 12 square roots is seven. Minus 10 plus 12, that's two, and it's the square root of seven. Now I'm just gonna pause and make a note here that these radicals are the same. It's the same root, they're all square roots, and it's the same number. Six, six, 21, 21, seven, seven. If they were not the same, in either of those instances, you would not be able to do this process. So keep that in mind. Okay, number seven. We have negative 10 square roots of 11 minus 11 square roots of 11. Minus 10 minus 11. That's minus 21, so you have minus 21 square roots of 11. Okay, number nine, it starts to get a little bit different because you have different numbers underneath that square root. Two square roots is six minus two square roots of 24. So a way to go about this is to think, how could I get the same number under the square root? Is that possible? Well, you see this six and you know 24 is four times six. So let's start there. Two square roots of six minus two square roots of, instead of 24, I'm gonna write four times six. Okay, can't do anything with this. It's still two square roots of six minus two times. What's the square root of four? Two, bring that out, and guess what you're left with underneath? Square root of six. A little bit of math. Two square roots of six minus two times two is four square roots of six. And now we have the same number under the square root, so the problem's easy. What's two minus four? Negative two. And your answer is negative two square root of six. Okay, number 11. And number 11 we have negative square root of 12 plus three square roots of three. So, is it possible to make this into something with a square root of three? Yes. 12 is four times three. So it's negative square root of four times three, and I can't do anything further with three square roots of three. Now, I can take the square root of four, and that's two. So this becomes negative two square roots of three plus three square roots of three. Okay, all you need to know now is negative two plus three. Well, that's one. So we have one square root of three or just the square root of three. Okay, one more, number 13. So for 13, we have three square roots of x, no, three square roots of eight plus three square roots of two. So can we do something to the eight to make it into a square root of two. Yes, we can. So three square roots of eight is four times two plus three square roots of two. So three times the square root of four is two square roots of two plus three square roots of two. Now let's work what's on the outside. Three times two that's a six and then a square root of two plus I'm going to write the three square root of two. So now we just have to know what six plus three is and we have nine square root of two. And that's it. So the other part for today's assignment will be the evens on the second page. So assignment is evens first and second page. If you have not already emailed your quadratic formula worksheet to me, make sure you do that ASAP and get all caught up on your work. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.